I want you up on your feet, sing this one with us.
You keep repeating promises to me. Now there's no stopping what you have started till it is complete. When my mind says I'm Extreme Zone Royal Kids. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this extreme series that we are in. We've been learning about some epic Bible stories. I mean, I'm so excited because today, I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat excited because we're going to be learning and hearing about this crazy story about three guys who had extreme faith in God. But before we get into that story, I want to show you guys something, okay? Over here, I've got some three items that seem kind of ordinary. I've got a PVC pipe, or it's just basically a plastic pipe. I've got a soda can, and I've got this nice fleece jacket. Now, on their own, they just seem so ordinary, right? Like, what's so special? But I want to show you something, Royal Kids. Check it out. If I take this pipe and I rub it a little bit on this nice, fluffy fleece jacket, Look what happens when I put it next to the can. You guys, oh, I can see the excitement building. You're like, what's the big deal? Just you wait. It's so cool, you guys. So check it out. Oh my goodness, Royal Kids. Let's put it back here. It's like magic, right? Oh my goodness, but it's not magic. It's an unseen force and static electricity it attracts and moves metal, which is what this can is made out of. And it got me thinking, Royal Kids, that's exactly how our faith works. In extreme faith works this way. It moves things. It, it's like a superpower almost. But I'll tell you what, we're gonna talk about this story because you're gonna see some crazy extreme um, faith at work in these three guys that I told you about. So these three guys, they're called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I love their names. Anyways, they were children of God. They were Israelites. And the time that they lived in, they were ruled by a king called King Nebuchadnezzar. And he wasn't a very good ruler. As a matter of fact, he created this massive gold statue. And he created this law that basically forced everybody to worship this statue. And he said, 
Whenever you hear the music play, you need to bow down and worship this golden statue. And one day, the music started going. And as soon as the music started going, everybody in all the land began to bow down and worship this golden statue. Everyone except these three guys. They said, no ways, we are not going to bow down this and worship this statue because we only worship our God. And as soon as King Nebuchadnezzar heard that, he became furious, royal kids. He called them in and he said to them, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, what, I want you to bow down and worship these, this statue. For if you don't, who's gonna rescue you? Which God will rescue you? And royal kids, this is what they said. I want you to pull out your Bibles real quick to Daniel chapter three and verse 16. This is what they said, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know your majesty that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Royal kids, guess what the punishment was for not obeying the law? The punishment was that if you did not worship this golden statue, you would be thrown into the fiery furnace. And these three crazy guys, they knew that. And they told King Nebuchadnezzar, you know what? God can save us, but even if he doesn't, we're not gonna worship this false God. You know, King Nebuchadnezzar, when he heard their response, he became even more furious. You know what he said? He's like, turn up the heat in the furnace. And he had them thrown into the fire. But that's not the end of the story, royal kids. Because when Nebu King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the fire, guess what? He didn't just see one, two, or three men that he had thrown into the fire. He saw four men and he couldn't believe his eyes. He looked again and the fourth man looked like an angel who was walking around in the fire with them. He was stunned and he said, come out because the God that you serve has saved you. And guess what, royal kids? Those three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they walked out of that fire and they were completely unharmed. In fact, the Bible says they didn't even smell like smoke. Whoa, that's so crazy. I think of when we barbecue outside and we make all sorts of yummy food, my hair smells like smoke, everything on me smells like smoke. They were in the actual fiery furnace and they did not smell like smoke. That tells me that they had this extreme faith and trust in God and God was with them and he protected them and he sent an angel even to look out for them. And I love that because guess what? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they were just normal like everybody else. They could have bowed down and worshiped the golden statue just like everybody else did. Just like these three ordinary items. But you know what? On the inside of them was this extreme crazy faith, royal kids. And guess what? That same crazy extreme faith, it lives on the inside of you too. And you can believe God to show up for you, to be with you in difficult situations. When everybody else around you, around you wants to make their own choices, maybe even make some not so wise choices, you can still follow after God, just like these three guys did. And you can believe that God is always going to be with you. That's what your faith can do. So I just wanna encourage you, don't forget, you've got extreme faith, royal kids. And I would love to pray for you today. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much today that we learned that we have extreme faith that can move mountains even, that can, that can cause us to believe you to show up in such difficult situations that we face. I pray that royal kids, that they would know that you are always with them, that their faith is, is so big that it can move things, Lord God, and that you can move in their situations. In Jesus' name, amen. Royal kids, this was so much fun. Thanks for hanging out. I always love being with you guys and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye. You took hold, I let go. I'm awakened.
Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Goodbye. Hey families, follow Vibe Worship Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube.